guard starts walking down the alleyway and sees you investigating the door, or, the, or not the door, sees you investigating the wall. <clears throat> and he puts a hand on his sword and walks quickly towards you, and a second hand on a bell, and starts saying, Hey, 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 hey what are I you doing back there? badge. Great. What are you doing back here? <laughs> Official business. <laughs> Official We're on the case. Business. Official business with the church and you're back here in the alleyways? Doesn't seem like official church business to me. I'm sorry, sir. We have can't you, tell you more about it, but it's an active investigation. Then, then's the rules, don't have you, you know? Have you heard of where crimes occur? Why do you think you're in this alleyway? You patrol here because this is where the criminal element would show up. Yeah, I think I'm looking at a criminal element right here. Wait, are you accusing a lieutenant of the church of being engaged in a crime while in the middle of an investigation? I'm just saying it's very suspicious that your dwarven friend here is investigating the back of this tavern. That's the whole point. The back of this tavern is hiding. Okay. Oh, I can only say so much. This is the whole thing of investigations. Are you new at your job? Have you never seen how investigations work? Listen, buddy, we, we how understand do we, we're, how not, do we come... we're not too offended. Just... How on earth do you think we would surprise the bad guys? You think we just knock on the front door and say, Hi, surprise, we're the police. All right, continue your investigation. And he goes to the wall and just leans on it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I mean, you won't Like mind. the wall that we're investigating? Not, uh, it's more of like the opposite, the opposite wall. wall. Oh, that's not <laughs> watching you sure. guys. Proceed. <sighs> well, I, oh God, now I'm all awkward and lost my place. <laughs> yes. All right. I try and get back into it and looking for some sort of hidden situation. <clears throat> you don't sense any doors there. Hmm. Well, hit anything? I uh, I got nothing. Perhaps the door coming up empty. Perhaps the door is hidden Not. by the very secret of the magics. I go into the center of the wall where we think a door might be if it matches yeah. any of the side buildings. I knock three times. I pause and I knock five times. All right. I am keeping an eye on the guard yeah. while he does this. Nothing happens. Hmm. Hmm. Do we perhaps have the wrong tavern? I mean, the instructions the one on the other weren't end. very clear. It's true. Uh, All right. Let's try the one on the opposite end of the street, then. Okay. Um, <laughs> the, the card just kind of, like, shrugs his shoulders and continues his patrol. Right. <laughs> He's um, not like, I'm coming with you. Yeah, we got nothing to hide. You can follow the us tavern. all he wants. So you start not. walking across the street, mm. and when you uh, walk across the street, you... That was the GoPro. Oh. What does that mean? Is it full? Bum, bum. How weird. Ah! We have, yeah, we yeah, have never. Mem memory is full. Wow, Maybe we've never. to format it. Yeah, we've never had the GoPro go dark before. But it's okay, because uh, that's fine. already served this purpose of we, bridging we us. We don't need it anymore. <clears throat> um, okay, yeah. so you see a. Cross and fingers on that. The tavern across the street <coughs> is um, the, the Shining Ale, or something like that. And you see under that, it says established. Um, 573. No! Oh. Oh. The last tavern the most built. The recent tavern. Huh. Oh. Okay. We start looking Your to see if we can find a hint on a silver platter. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I hate to do it this way, but you guys never like investigated any of the taverns. You right. guys are just like, it's this way. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that's perfectly fair. No, that's very reasonable. It never occurred to us to think of last as being most recently built. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now that this becomes a sign, we do check to see which tavern was most recently built. Yeah, do they all have okay. a year? Uh, what clever word they have. Yeah. We never would they have guessed. All do have a year. Um, you see that the ta the one you are about to enter had a year of 485. Um you do some looking around, and you see that a couple down from the whatever the last one was. Um, uh, the most recent one, built in, or established in nine eighty three, and yeah, some of these taverns are old. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, and these are, uh, time here is uh, post sun, or PS. Right. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. So this is 980, what is it? That's like just 13 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, 900, established 984, and the tavern is called the Lazy Bottle. The Lazy Bottle. The Lazy mm. Bottle. Very suspicious name. All right, does this one have a back door, Peter? This one does have a back door. Well. Mm. It's also suspicious because along with the wooden door, there is that metal shutter. Ah. I like metal shutters. Mm. Light, you look the least suspicious out of any of those. Or at least the uh, least memorable. Light looks back at you with his haunted eyes and wild, long hair. <coughs> Do you really think so? Maybe... That makes me feel so much better okay. about my years in the wilderness. Tell you what we'll do. I'll knock on the door, and then they'll have to, like, peer down at me, and it will be awkward. <laughs> and then they'll, like, lose track of the fact that... We'll, we'll see if it works. In that case, if I feel they're... perhaps I should stand a few feet off to the Listen, side. Listen, if you just, like, press yourself up against the wall right next to the door, they'll open a little shutter, then we'll be able to see you. Yeah, I'll, I'll still scooch a few feet away so that it's not that obvious, because they might go, is that troll skin I see in my peripheral vision? Sure. Okay, so. Oh, we'll worry about it when we get to it. All right, this sounds like a great plan. Okay. Who is a knocking? I'm a knocking. Awesome. Okay, from the inside, you hear, like, a glass hastily being set down and some grumbling. Wait, what do I say? And the shutter. What? 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 He opens the door, and are you guys hiding out of the way? Those two are not. I'm hiding. <laughs> okay, so it's just so he just sees the two of you. He opens the door and goes, "What? What do you want? I'm not. No one's supposed to be here now. What's going on? We here for the meeting." <clears throat> it's in three days. Oh, shit, what day is today? Today's Tuesday, right? <laughs> I I'm just your guard. Fuck. It's I don't pay attention to these things. Dude, are you alright, man? I'm sorry. This you, is This is oh, this happens to me all the time, man. I'm Yeah, yeah, you lost track of the days. Yeah, that sucks. You down doing work, you know, the good work. Down in the mines. Yeah. Can't even see can't even see the hot sun. Like it's hard. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Um, well, okay, I mean listen, there's no official business going on right now, but like you can like come on in. Uh yeah, I mean I'll I guess I'll, I can save for a drink or something like that. Like Yeah, you know, it's it's always free. Alright. Yeah. Well, guard, okay. let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, you two enter in, and the door shuts, and what is Alzim doing in the shadows of the alleyway? <laughs> I, I, I was fully prepared that this could possibly have been the outcome. So knowing that my computers have entered peaceably, I will scooch closer to the door and try to listen. Once again, we have split the party. Yes. Um, because if it looks like they're just enjoying some drinks and some gambling, I would just stand out here. Otherwise, if it sounds like that there is like anything wrong or they go, oh my gosh, stop stabbing us, then I would have <laughs> to break down the door and to get to them. Okay, sweet. Um, so on the other side of the door, um, this gentleman who I should describe, a uh, tall human uh, who looks very clean shaven, short brown hair, well kept, uh, he has piercing blue eyes, and he's wearing a, a modest set of chainmail with uh, a pair of axes at his sides. Hmm. Um, around his neck is a uh, rather gaudy uh, amulet of the Church of the New Sun. He goes over to a uh, big old barrel and hits the tap and starts filling up a, uh, a mug. He's like... Do you want your some for your bodyguard as well? Oh, yeah, of course. All right, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Didn't catch your names. I'm 
think I've seen you in meetings before. Uh, name's Brom. Uh, Stalewart. And I'm Del. Not, n- <laughs> nice to meet you two. Fine folk. How'd yesterday go? Oh, you know, a bit of a mess, but nothing. I mean, it's always a mess, right? Yeah. yeah. Wish that we could figure out a way to make it cleaner. I know. <sighs> yeah, but hey, uh, look, if the calculations are right, then uh, we might have bought ourselves another year. Mmm. Yeah, it's... it's so just, It's just hard sometimes, you know? I should mention... <laughs> you guys don't know anything about it being the Church of the New Sun. Mm-hmm. We don't recognize the symbol. I mean, you says. recognize the symbol, but... Okay. I never told you that there is. Oh. Yeah. So we are sort of taken aback by this. I have no idea what's going on. Hmm. Not me personally, Sterling, but Light has no clue what is going on. Because he never was... He, he's like a... He was like a church on Sundays and... May then then it was like mostly like whatever the neither, neither of us is too terribly bright. <laughs> no. No, 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 I did show you the heretical scriptures though. So oh, that's true. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now that the deed's done, we can like share how we did it. So uh, I of course went um, went east to the village of uh, Holbenhau, and uh, yeah, I just went. They had a fight club there. I just uh, won a few rounds, and then I just dragged their bodies over to the route. Oh, that's Where'd clever. You, that's yeah. like people who almost signed up for it anyway. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were kind of like, you know, dregs of society. Figured it was like cleaning it up, doing two jobs at once. How about you guys? What'd you do? Yeah, boss. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was mostly just, you know, making sure people weren't watching while you were snatching them. Yeah, it was a, a, you know, spiked punch, and they wander off through the woods and find their way into a cave complex, and you do it down there, you know? Oh, yeah, that's clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. How'd you spike the punch? Uh, you know, I wasn't the one who did it. It was this other guy. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. it's not my... Guys, yeah, oh, I should have known the body guys, you guys, like, doing the team. Right. I could only do a solo myself. Don't I think someone else would like you know tie me down and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know I, I've heard of teams of like four doing it. Oh yeah. 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 Huh. That seems like a lot of, like a weird mixture of like solo work but like <coughs> done a lot of manpower. Yeah. It's I don't know. Where'd you guys' uh, amulets? Oh. uh... I need to stash them. Somebody was asking questions. We'll Some... get them back. We'll get them back. What sort of questions were they asking? <sighs> Quick point. Can I hear any of this through the door? Uh, uh, you can hear some of it. Okay. Yeah. I'm um, guessing at this point where he's like... You can hear the live the conversation, yeah. and then you just heard it all kind of go silent. So, like, after he goes, people are asking questions, suddenly it's like... Yeah. Somebody somebody mentioned that they'd seen a bunch of cloaked figures, and one of, one of our symbols was hanging out, and bad sorts of questions. You know, it's always good to have faith, but you can't wear... We shouldn't be wearing the pendants when we're doing our work, right? I agree. That's why we had to stash them. Keep your faith at home and when you're on the job. You can't have any connections to the church. I understand it, though. Like, this is a hard thing to do. I know. You need need to have that reassurance. (laughs) People were not accepted. You know, it's bad, right? Yeah. It it sucks. To be honest, it sucks. But, like, we're talking about the end of the world here. we got to do it. Some people aren't willing to make those big decisions. The strongest of decisions requires the strongest of wills. Thankfully, we have that. And hey, we've got another year. Yeah, That's great. thank goodness. Yeah. Man, so what do you figure would happen if they just told people what was going on? Ah, uh, riots, probably. I mean, come on, what would, what would you expect to happen? 
Right, you could do like a like a lottery system. Uh, I mean, if the sun goes out, right, it's done. Like We're, there's nothing. And you know, I don't think we have the time to do another solution. I mean, I don't even know if there is another solution. How did do they do? They even know how it happened or what's going on? Is it just like just running out? When you say that, <laughs> kind of, it kind of like leans back. They didn't do the orientation. <laughs> For our badge, they just skipped it. <laughs> What'd you say your name was? I'm a uh, Dell. <coughs> Which branch are you with? The uh, the. All right. He'd have to tell us <laughs> if he told you. He'd have mm. to kill you. A table's being kicked into your face. Oh, <laughs> uh, lead as a dwarf goes down. Okay, under it. Awesome. Um, Alzim, you hear the crash of a table. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. It's... Okay. Um, back to it. Uh, lead. Um, an axe is coming down on your head. the The table was a distraction. He's pulled out his axes and he's swinging with one of them. What do you do? Okay. Um, <laughs> I am going to it's react going so well. with. What do I want to do? Um, so, snap decision, I bring down the holy burning wrath of the true god of the sun. Um, I'm going to cast Cause Fear Ooh, is my goal. Sweet. Okay. Just have go ahead. Stop ahead right in his tracks. Uh, and there is a six. <laughs> oh, Oof. Oh, that is not good enough. All right. Axe um, to the noggin. Yeah, so that's pretty much what happens. An axe goes straight to your head. Let's see if I can pull up. God, do you have armor right. on your I head? I have <laughs> one armor uh, from that. You survived because plot armor. Okay, sweet. Oh, shit. Let's do one. <coughs> okay, uh, that's going to be six damage. Six damage goes down to five. All right. Um, and yeah. I also holler out, or so like spell fizzles and and fails on my lips, and I I then holler Alzim. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've already Al like Alzim. Yeah, what are you doing? I will try to break down the door unless anyone comes to open it. All right. Define danger plus strength. Oh no! The door is stronger than troll muscles. Great. I have no choice but to wait till White tries to open the door for me if he can get away. Uh, so... I can't get you, in! Behind you, you hear a bell. <laughs> as a guard's rushing towards you. <laughs> ding a ling a ding a ling a ding I knew it! What are you doing? Breaking into the back of a building! You idiot! How stupid are you? Did you start your job just yesterday? <laughs> I know what I'm seeing, and that's a break-in. Yes! Because when the bad guys are inside doing bad stuff, they don't let you in and say, please come arrest us, you idiot. And I smack the bell out of his hand. <laughs> okay, we'll get back to that. Let's go to light. I'm gonna snap this guy's neck. Okay. Um, so the table came at us. Uh, what? So the table came at you and kind of like split you two. Yeah. And, and I think it, uh, it, it hit lead because he was... He was acting uh, as the, <coughs> the yeah. front man. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to draw my halberd. Um, and I'm going to club up on it since I got that special versatile close range. And I'm going to get in this guy's face and try and smack him. While well, I'm shouting at Led, Led the door! I'll take care of him, but get the door! Okay, um, go ahead and roll hack and slash. Okay. Oh, baby. Ah, that is a 12. Good, you got it. I will take a whack to do an extra d6. All right. Uh, that is Ooh, a 13, 14 points of damage. Whoa. Okay, his armor wow. uh, takes a good brunt of the ball, and he swings at you for 10 damage. Oof. I will force him to re-roll that. Ooh. Wow. Ten damage. God damn it. Uh, 
All right. You had an eighty percent chance right. of getting better. A what? You had an eighty percent chance of it being less. Oh, but you said getting better, and I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. better, better for you. <laughs> better for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like, what is this guy's say, damage? Led, you uh, make it to the door. And okay. You, and do you want to open it? Yes. Got it. You open it, um, and Alzim, you just smacked the bell out of the guy's hand. You hear more bells in the distance. Sure. Oh, As like, we got of, trouble. <laughs> and uh, the guard's there, like, kind of taken back, and he's, like, walking back and grabbing his sword. Uh, behind you, let us open the door. Yeah. As soon do? as the door opens, I'm going to dash in there. Because this guard is too stupid and useless and not worthy of my time, while my allies are in the midst of combat. Got it. Okay. Um, you think they carry a shepherd, though? Uh, I'd say that you came in, you get inside, you're inside yeah. the door. Yep. Um, what do I see? You see a uh, light in a fight with a guy with two axes, and they're just going at it. It's just the two of them? There aren't other folk here? There's no other guy. All right. I will immediately go into halberd this fellow. Okay. Go ahead and roll hack and slash. That is... Four, seven, two, nine. Got it. Okay. So, uh, you can swing down on the halberd, and you get a hit on his shoulder. Go ahead and roll damage. Eight. Eight. Um, okay. The armor, the chainmail, takes the brunt of the blow. And um, when he notices that you have also attacked him, he throws his, one of his hand axes right at you. Hmm. And deals, oh boy, 12 points of damage. I will use my regeneration this time. Okay, cool. Um... Let's just make that once per session. Sure. I think that's the fairest way to make regeneration. Okay. Um, so the axe flies by and hits you, let's say, right in the neck. Sure. And you force your troll guts to just regenerate. And as you're bleeding out, the, the, the flesh just kind of morphs back together and makes the uh, neck whole. Lead, let's jump back to you. Okay. You just let... Alzim back in. You hear a ding-a-ling of bells on the other side of the door. What do you do? If you close the door now, they're breaking in. Yes. I guess I close the door. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, the door's already closed. You oh, hear I lock the door. Okay. Or, like, door. yeah, whatever. Door is locked. Okay. I like to uh, see him explain how he can break in, but we can't. So, when I rolled that six, that did not cause the spell to go away? Uh, well, the six will... For oh, casting cost spear? Uh, no, you okay. still have the spell. Okay, it's just like, it fizzles and then you get a move. Okay. Um, let's see. I am going to uh, open up the shutter okay. and jump up and peek out at the guard out there and try and cast cause fear on him <coughs> with this door as the thing that he's afraid oh. Oh, okay. Whoa. So he is. So what you see him is he's like motioning to like people in the f- f- uh, in the back, and he's like got the bell, and he's going crazy with the bell. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and roll, cost here. Okay, let's see if I can do I better than a like six. this plan. There is nice. eleven thirteen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. You have redirected all this guy's fears towards the door. Uh, we'll see this play out in a moment. All right. Okay, light. You are locked in combat with this with Brom. He only has one axe left. Okay, we're like back and forth, and the 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 yeah, butt doing, of my spear yeah. is like he's doing remarkably <laughs> well now that there's two big spears right on him. Uh. Uh, he is seen combat. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, attempt to. Uh, uh, parry his axe out of the way and then go thrust into his gut with the uh, spear butt. Sweet. Show me a hack slash. Not like this. That's a six. It's a six. Um, uh, uh, it's good. It's, a, it's one of his monster moves. <laughs> That'd be fun. Oh. 
Those aren't very cool <laughs> moves. <laughs> okay. Uh, instead, I think he's just going to do damage. I think that's good enough. Was a feint. He... So... You uh, lunge in it, and he does a beautiful like spin around it, and rushes in in the opening, and hits you with the back of the axe right on the face for six points of damage. All right. Hoo ha! Right. Uh, Alzim, um, this Brom just bonked light in the face. What are you gonna do? I am highly motivated in this combat. Not only is light my charge and my friend, but I have now discovered how. The loot of the axes may translate to coin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I reel back with blood dripping as from my face, and Alzim's eyes are just glittering. Fear as not! He looks upon that the blood axes. is coin. <laughs> we'll sell everything. Oh no! That is, that is an enough. eight. Okay, that's good enough to deal damage. Go ahead and show it to me. For eight. Eight. All right. So, um, he made the awful tactical mistake of putting his back to you when he bonks light in the head. You are take seize of this opening and cut him along the back. Nice. He goes down to his knees, looks up at you all and says, It doesn't matter. I die here <laughs> if you're successful and stop us. Everyone's dead. I hope you're happy. And he slumps down on the ground. Free spine. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> For what it's worth, he didn't like. He just attacked us. He didn't know that we were. I mean, he knew we were interlopers and not in on the secret. Yes. But he didn't know that we were going to be against him if he explained himself. He certainly could have said words that would have saved his life. He didn't have to just immediately go to table flipping. What now? By the way. It must be the case that before this violent action ensued, I heard enough to have an understanding of what's actually going on now. Like he said right. all those words uh, about like the sun going out. Yeah, so the ba basic he said, doing the rituals today, or the other day, it's given them about another year by their calculations. Um, it's now, necessary. we interrupted some of those rituals, out. so that means it's less than a year. Um... And I think that's all the bits that you got, yeah. the most important things. Um, Conspiracy. Yeah. If people knew, there'd be riots. Yeah, that was also the thing. Mm -hmm. like, it's a secret, see? Can't let people know, otherwise that stuff happen. Um, on the other side, there's stuff happening on the other side of the door. You oh, know, yes, that's right. There's a crazy, it. bad guard oh, yeah. guy fleeing for his life. I, yeah. Not the door! These are the worst doors ever! Yeah, I, like, peek up through the slot again. What's going on up there? So you see the guard, like, frantically, like, on the ground, sweating profusely, tears in his eyes, frantically pointing at the door, and there's about... Ten guards. Ooh, nine guards there with them! <laughs> Kind of like got two of them like looking around trying to see if there's something real happening, and the rest are like calming down the guard. Um, your quick thinking stopped this problem. Huh. When he peeks out from the slot, I will yell loudly from within the room, What's going on out there? Oh. <clears throat> just, just a uh, spooked guard. Nothing more. Looks like, uh, Looks like some. Looks like he like uh, drank a little too much tonight. All right, because we heard the bells. It's bad ah, for business. Don't worry, sir. Just uh, not. Shouldn't problem. Shouldn't trouble you. We'll be gone in a moment. All right. Be careful who you hire. We don't want to have to file another complaint. Oh, no. There's no need for that, sir. We'll be out of. We'll be out of your hair. So. Quick question. I slammed the shutter back closed. Um, yes. The front of this bar, we're, we're in the main bar area, right? You're not in the main bar area. Oh, okay. Was the front the of this bar open? The front was open. <coughs> you guys never bothered to look. Um, now that things are kind of calm, this kind of looks like a back storage area. There was just like kind of a table that you guys were drinking on with several chairs around it. Um, is, my, there was, is my beer all right? I guess I would have been on that cable. Pour another. Um, yeah, you, you, yeah. Three uh, axe. It's two <laughs> axes. Two. Two axes. Um, there's a couple barrels. <laughs> three axe times two. Uh, 
there is a couple barrels of ale to the side. Um, and then nearby, you can see that there's kind of a trap door leading down. Ooh, free trap door. As, <laughs> as I am filling a mug of ale, as it comes about halfway up, for a brief moment, I realize I'm stealing ale. Are we the criminals now? <laughs> Are we the bad guys? We're not there yet. <laughs> As I'm drinking the ale, I'm thinking, criminality is delicious. It's an important character moment for Alzheimer. Okay. The tale uh, of a good troll gone bad. <laughs> yes. It's all right. In, in season two, it will be my redemption arc. <laughs> like, <laughs> So we have he was like, once a member of the guard. Then he oh became no. the king of thieves. No, season two will be the road. The sun has gone out and we're just all wandering down. <laughs> yeah, could be. That's a desolate road. Depends. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. okay, so we gotta do something with this body because there's gonna be like other people coming here eventually. And if they just like find this body, there's gonna be trouble. Is this a typical storage area for a bar where there are empty barrels? Yeah. yeah. Well, good thinking. There's all right. also so, all of this blood. Pour me another glass of ale. Oh, you yeah. start like pouring the ale over the blood. So like mixes right. together like somebody dropped their beer. Yep. Okay. Yeah, um, while he's doing that, I'm stuffing the body into the empty yeah. barrel. Oh, so Alzim, when you grab this guy's body, oh, what yeah, I yeah, originally yeah, described yeah, as a gaudy pendant, you recognize. He was a high inquisitor of the church. Like a high up position. Perhaps maybe one of the top 20 the church in the new song legally speaking we are the bad guys <laughs> i'll see you got a heck of a look on your face what's up i reach into my pocket and review the pendant from before i fear that this conspiracy goes all the way to the top and i snatched the his pendant off this was just a pendant of a member of the church hierarchy. But this man, he was one of the high inquisitors. Shit. I can the high inquisitor. <clears throat> We're in a lot of trouble. What's done is done. The killing of a man of this rank is a terrible thing. But what is worse is I fear we have discovered a great heresy. If it's true that the sun of man is going out. What he said earlier about panic in the streets is the least of our worries. I mean, the sun going out would be a pretty bad thing. Knowledge that the sun might go out is a very bad thing. The sun going out itself? Like, th these are nightmare tales that... I have a pocket full pendants. That... That wet nurses tell their the children under their care that such a thing can't possibly be true. He was not wrong. It is actually a disaster. If I were to fulfill my vows, I would kill you both right here and commit suicide. <laughs> that that can't be. Aren't your vows to? To help the people, to to withhold the realm? There's no realm to hold without the sun. And yet, this this is this answer that they have arrived at, this is not one made by the the true rulers of the realm. This this is something that's been decided on by by the church. They're murdering people left and right. There's the Lords of Westfire can't... My family can't possibly know of any of this. Oh, I'm certain they would not. And we can't let them know. Could you imagine if the secular rulers realized that the church's control over the sun had failed? They depend on it. They don't know anything about the magics that created the sun. Yes, but there, there must be a... A better way. There has to be a better way than... There has to be a better way. Wait. Perhaps? There is. 
your friends, the crime with which you were charged. Yes. yes. Your people, they were building a heretical sun. It wasn't. That is a completely different matter whether it was heretical or not. I apologize. I am so accustomed to the language of the church. But, but yes, the, the Galatian were working on something, some, a son of their own to, to, to light the lands of the, the, I don't know if I've told you this yet, Led, but, um, I, I met a people in my travels. They rescued me. They saved me along the frost edge where no one else can survive. And there they were working on building a new sun, a sun for them. The Son of Man, when it was built, it forgot so many people, left out among the wastes. Uncountable people died due solely on the placement of the Son of Man. But the Glacian survived somehow in the, in the under caves, and, and they were one of the original people that were working on the Son of Man before it was completed. There are stories of dwarves out beyond the deep, deep underground, beyond the, uh, the ice wall, who have survived from geothermal. There's, there must be, I am Could certain there is like a that. better way than, than the feeding of, of the blood of innocence. That, that is not justice. It is fate then. Light your crime may be the salvation of all the peoples of the world and led your people with their knowledge of existing beneath the lands and your original work on the sun combined between your friends and your friends and me a paladin of the church as spokesperson the three of us hold the secret to the future we must report this to the fathers of the church if they know this surely they will then seek out the solution that we have it will save countless lives, not just those necessary to restore and maintain the existing sun, but by restoring an actual sun that works for another thousand years, it will buy us the time necessary to come up with a longer term solution. You have a, a lot of faith <coughs> in your <coughs> in the people of your church, and that's that's an admirable thing. I don't <coughs> oh, excuse me, but dust in here after that fight. Um, I don't know that I quite share your optimism. These are people who have committed to murdering innocents. But only as necessary. Well, they were trading a few lives for countless tens of thousands. Sure, but do you think they didn't look into the alternatives? They couldn't have possibly known that there were alternatives. The creating of the sun was an undertaking that required the knowledge and the efforts of all the races of the realms a thousand years ago. Yes. What documentation must still remain would long have been lost and the resources would be gone. It cost all the resources of the world as it existed a thousand years ago. According to what we are taught in the church, we expended all that was available in order to create the son of man before it was too late to create that undertaking in the short time necessary before the world's heat was snuffed out required every people to contribute the last of their resources in order to make it happen. To do that again today would be unheard of. We have only the resources of 5% of the population of the world left. This was probably the only solution they could imagine. And surely they couldn't have imagined that there was actually a secret project by a people at the Frostlands actually building another sun. Depending on how much progress they've made, this could be the answer to everything. Well, would have been an answer <coughs> had not been slaughtered almost to a man. Two children and an elder are all that remain of at least that tribe of the Galatian. There had been... Tales of others disconnected, spread out, beyond the frost wall. However, Led does bring up a good point, which is that you have a lot of faith in the, in the fathers, the church fathers, but 
I'm not so sure that they might not just think it the easier way to continue doing what works. Or the way that keeps them in power, perhaps. Your conversation is cut short <laughs> by three knocks at the door. <laughs> A pause and five more. Uh, have we put the body in the barrel? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And we, we've cleaned up the we've, floor. We've spilled the beer over the blood. Yeah. So that we you can't really smell the, the sour tang of metal over the sour tang yeah. of beer. We will um, attempt to quietly open the trap door. <laughs> and then we will go down. The okay. Right. And quietly close the door. <laughs> <laughs> so. You open up the trap door, and then there's a set of stairs leading down into a hallway. This hallway has two directions. Um, you can tell it goes one is south and one is north. That is, one is towards the spire, and one is not towards the spire. Towards the spire. No, that's going to put us right out into their base, away from the spire. That's going to be the secret exit. This might be the last chance that we have to use this tunnel before they discover that something's wrong. Perhaps we should try and get some more information. Okay, towards the spire. Towards the spire. Plus, it Good thing there are only head. three of us. Imagine trying to come to a some sort of solution with four people. Oh, oh God. That's true. Yes. That would be terrible. <laughs> All right. So you start heading towards the spire. This is a kind of newish tunnel built within the past hundred years or so. Um, the rocks are well worn on walking back and forth from the spire to this tavern. Mm -hmm. After about a reasonable amount of walking, what do you expect to be the bottom of the spire? You come across a ladder going up. Now we're at the bottom of the spire. Mm -hmm. Does the tunnel keep going? No. So historically, is the spire the spire we are in? That's a church property. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let me what take the, the lead. Of, yeah, I will go up first. Okay. That way, if anyone challenges me, my position and status should at least give them pause. You right. have a pendant. You should. Do the pendants like you, very you. obviously demonstrate like what you are? This one does not. It is generic. <laughs> this one will identify you as a high inquisitor, and I believe they are all recognizable. Yeah, to I don't the think judgment. I want that. Yes. Is oh. As in, are they unique looking? The, the Inquisitor pendants are. I think they're non Inquisitor. Yeah, I think somebody yeah. who's like in the church around here would be like, you're not a High Inquisitor. I know all seven of I mean, of the, the non -inquisitor High Inquisitor one. Wait, is that one your personal one? The High Inquisitor one? No, 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 no. the regular one. No, this one yeah, where I took off the ground. Yeah. I have my own already. Okay. Are there, oh. There's one yeah. you picked up from the ritual site, and then there's one from the High Inquisitor. Yeah. Okay. The one from the ritual site, is that identical to the one? It is Elsie not, wears. but it's similar enough that, uh, like, my order of paladins has our own, and ah, so okay. it's slightly different, but But that's it's sort okay. of like a generic religious, it's a religious symbol. It's, it's it not is. Like it's not is like the one order. that you would buy at the gift shop, like, okay. at least this one and mine show that we have official status. Yeah. The, so it's like you, you get... You can get the gifts to a cross, but then there are the official ones that you get. Okay, you it's it's the closest thing you have. They have to like <coughs> office badges, right? Yeah. Like, how do I know that you're actually this? Well, I got, I got this. Yeah. So yeah, sure, I'll take that one. Yeah. Should Led take the regular one, and I'll just continue to pretend being stalwart. Yes, the guard. That's fine. I have a pretty good guard voice, don't you think? Yeah, you're. It's true. We just hired you. You're spent a lot of time watching my my own guard. Also, a dwarf draws more attention. If he holds a pendant, people will, their eyes will be drawn to the dwarf and his mismatched partner, the troll. No one knows this is the human guard that's just standing in the back. You're like, <laughs> you're just like furniture. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So I will climb the ladder first. Okay. You climb the ladder first and you go up to the top and you see a rather heavy grate on top of the, the ladder. Hmm. You push it off, and it comes up with a large, like, metal s scraping sound. Sure. Like, you climb yep. on up, and you see that you're in a standard storage room. There's bags of flour, bags of salt, mm. barrels of, you know, salted meats. Nice. Many 
different moves and stuff. Yes. All right. It seems clear. Gentlemen, come on up. Scurry up top. Okay. Put the grate back on. Dust the flower off ourselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, does the room look like this particular entrance and egress is also used quite a lot? Like, do we see a lot of, like, scrapings that, like... That yeah, you see you be... see a, a very obvious scrape as okay. this is lifted off quite often. Oh. Um, this grate is also hidden from view as there are, like, strategically like placed and crates and boxes oh. placed around it. Is there, like, a crate of apples sitting around somewhere? Yeah, of course. I grab an apple because... If you're, you always look less suspicious when you're eating an apple. Then, right? You're more casual. Yeah, you just relax. Yeah. Not doing mm. anything. I think about reaching for an apple and I realize it would then be more suspicious whole, if we were all eating whole, an apple. Yeah. One person eating an apple is not bad. Yeah. Two people? Unusual. Yes. Three Besides, people yeah, yeah, maybe, apple. maybe we all went out together for an apple break. Besides, how long does it take a troll to eat an apple? Oh, that's right. That's not even a real thing. I it's think like, food is suspicious of the troll's yeah, hands. So it's like, why are you eating? Why are you holding half an apple? That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, that's like that's like Probably. a human holding half an M M&M. and M. Troll is <laughs> like, a troll is two states: going to eat and has eaten. There's yes. no eating. I just have you this can take image. a whole bag of apples and then you can pull them out and just like. I just have this actual picture of a guy holding half an M&M and M&M. It's like, oh, I took a bite and I haven't finished my M&M yet. I'm saving it for the right moment. All right, so once we get out past the, like, wall of flour that's, like, hiding yeah. this thing, is this, like, a massive storage room uh, that, like, it, supplies the whole tower? This is a rather small storage room. It's more of, like, a sub-storage room or, like, a storage room for, like, us, like, foodstuffs for, like, a particular person it's out of the way okay or it could be just food stuff to hide the grate okay but now that you've navigated around the uh barrels and stuff hiding the grate you see that there's just one regular wooden door leading into the storage room nice <clears throat> cool i guess we go up to it okay quick listen peek through the keyhole and then if we don't see anything suspicious head up Okay, so you open up the door, and it's a spiral staircase leading up. Just goes up. Just goes up. All right, we just go up. Yep. Well, what is our plan here? Um, if it just takes us into the spire property, are we just going to walk off, I suppose? I or still we... believe we should bring this matter to the attention of the church fathers. But... I do recognize what you say, that there could be a danger. Perhaps we should first go to the secular authorities. Who rules here? Um, so, uh, West Spire is a guild city. Oh. So it's more of like a council of the guilds. Ooh, There's the... it's Ravnica. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's more of like each guild has a seat on the, the governing, the council, governing body. Uh, so the main guilds um, are church got the merchants got the the, the the adventurers the wizards um then there's uh like the the, the, I don't know, the masons etc etc and then there's one guild that is like all the minor guilds so the church has a seat but it's like one of many yeah well huh. i say we play it by ear if we do manage to leave the spire I am open to the idea of approaching the Council of Guilds and bringing it to all of their attention at the same time. I mean, will they even listen to us? What proof do we have? I guess that's your heretical Bible with the extra... That's true. They could easily, if what you say is true, they could simply say, Oh, you're a heretic. You have heretical scriptures on your person. You'll be tried and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. There is nothing that the church hates more than a fallen member of their own. Yeah. If we're going to do this, we got to do it right. Okay, so if we so if we can just walk out, I guess we do... Well, we need proof, so we got to go raid some high-ranking official's mm-hmm. office and grab some papers or something like that, right? <laughs> there is one alternative. 
and I shudder to even suggest it. They can't turn us down if we already have a solution. They don't know we have entered the city. Who knows how long the journey back for your trial would be. Perhaps we should return to the borderlands and find the son of your friends and return with information of it. And if they have not finished it, perhaps your Dwarven brothers can help us complete it. Alzim, I have, as long as we're here and we're thinking about plans, I have some information that you might, you know, as long as we're talking about heresies, and I um, cast my light spell and I say, or I guess I should roll it. Uh, don't roll it for this. Okay. Okay. this story. Yeah, so I, I cast my light spell. Check this say, out. Physics. <laughs> you see the way that the rays fall upon the stone. Yes, illuminated. it is a glorious thing. You have been blessed by the sun. Do you see the direction that the rays fall? Yes. From above, not from the sun. Yes. I have not noticed it before. What does that mean? You've seen the bandages on my hands. Yes, I thought it was an affectation because you dwarves are known for your mining. I thought it was calluses from a lot of the digging in the rocks. You can see the terrible burns that are all over my hands. I say, this power comes not from the son of man. This, <coughs> as far as I can tell, this is the power of Heliantis, the old son. I don't know why. You mean the gods of the old son that is dead? As far as I can tell. That's not possible. And yet, we've been taught that they're all dead. Dead along with the son itself. Then explain this. I cannot. Perhaps that's outside is... of my pay grade and my training. <laughs> Perhaps there's a, a solution beyond. Are you saying that the sun, the the old sun, the, the is coming sun. back? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It's been so long. We've not bothered to look up into the sky for it anymore. Let's say you guys have been walking up the spiral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're having this conversation <laughs> while we finally yeah. open the Light door at out. the top. <clears throat> come up to kind of like a courtyard area. Um, there are many priests walking, or priests of the new sun walking around, and a handful of paladins, but they're mostly standing in the corners. At this point, I'm so caught up in this conversation that I'm beginning to act as if this was second nature. Like, I presume I've been here before, I've received training yeah. here. Like, at this point, not only am I caught up in the conversation, but I'm just walking out of the spire like I was just leaving normally. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, oh, I've been here before. Some of these paladins, maybe even people who recognize me as, like, I'm guessing there's not a lot of trolls that graduate. Oh, yeah, from, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. hey, look, it's, it's well, Alzheimer for the class of 92. Yeah, so like, all of these ones here are all on duty. Oh, okay. So the most you'll get would be, like, a head nod or, like, a... I go, oh, huh. Sure. But this is too traveling. I'm not even noticing people who are trying to get my attention. Like, this is this is way, like, weird, interesting, and absorbing of what... Yeah. I'm exercising... I'm using every iota of the bandwidth of everything that I was able to do to <laughs> understand how these things... Right. Yes. Like, it's like... Yeah, there's a every lot of information of to process here. Brain. There, uh, well, there is one thing that does capture your attention immediately. You hear from behind you. Oh, Alzim, you've made it back. <laughs> you turn around and you see Horgon, the Paladin Commander. Of oh, <laughs> Lord Commander. And you've brought your prisoner with you. Yes, I have. And that's where we're all. Kind of <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Horgon! 